folks, and welcome to another episode of Tableau in Two Minutes. Today, we're going to be showing you how to dynamically change measures using a parameter. So why don't we go and set ourselves up with a quick visualization here. So we'll just look at sales. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put that on the column shelf, but I missed. So we're going to go ahead and put that on the column shelf. There we go. Uh, and then let's go ahead and drag out product category out to our visualization here. Now, you can see that this has our furniture, office supplies, and technology, and then the sum of sales. But what if we put this into a visualization and somebody wanted to see something other than furniture, office supplies, and technology, or other than the product category field on this particular um, visualization? Maybe they wanted to go down to the product subcategory level. We can change that, do that. <clears throat> Maybe they wanted to look at it by, by province. Maybe they wanted to look at it by region. Now, without actually editing the visualization or having a, a bunch of different visualizations all essentially showing the same thing on our dashboard, we can't allow them to do that. So the way to do it is to create one field um, that we're going to put on this visualization and dynamically change it based on the value of a parameter. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create, um, oh, we don't want to create a calculator field, we want to go ahead and create a parameter. So create a parameter, we'll call this the view switcher, you can call it whatever you like. We want this to be a string and we're going to select from a list of allowable values. And this list of allowable valuables, values, this is going to be the product or the, sorry, the, um, the items that we want to display on our, in this case, on our y-axis right here. Um, so obviously we had product category, product subcategory, and then let's do province. For now, obviously, you can add pretty much as many as you like. And then we're going to save that. And then we're going to create a new measure, or sorry, a new dimension, rather. This is going to be the view switched dimension. Obviously, you can give it whatever name makes sense. And this is going to be a case statement. So we're going to say case, and then we're going to enter the name of our parameter, which was view switcher. And then we're going to say when it equals product category, then product category. When product sub category, then product sub category. So let me finish this off for us. All right, so I just finished that off and uh, put everything from the parameter that we just created into this dimension field. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to replace region, where we have region written now, we're going to replace that with the view switched dimension field, which we just created. And you can see now, when we drag our parameter out onto the sheet here, we'll just show the parameter control, you'll see that now we have it set to product category. So our switched view is showing the product category. If we switch it to product subcategory, you can see it shows the product subcategory. And if we switch it to province, shows the province. Now you can use this and you can add this view switcher to your uh, dashboard and that will allow you to have somebody choose the level of detail at which they want to look at something. Uh, and that could help you save space by only having one view where in the past without switching dimensions you may have had to have several. Uh, and uh, that is it for this episode of Tableau in two minutes. We hope you put this to good use. If you have any questions please put them in the comments. There's a link to the video, uh, sorry, the uh, data set and to the workbook in the video description. Uh, and if you like what you hear and you like more Tableau chips and tricks, then please subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.